Now then, this is a, a little vlog because it's the holidays and um, I'm a separated parent, so which means I've had the kids like nearly half the time of this holiday and uh, I haven't had any time to do anything, so a nightmare. But I've still got a bit of practice in, but any kind of reviews and stuff, I'll be coming back next week and doing that. Uh, so carrying on with the magic books. Now what I'm going to do, I think, is go back, because a lot of people have asked me to kind of go back to the books and kind of maybe perform a trick out of each one, uh, which I really want to do, but obviously that's going to take time. Uh, I looked at this morning, uh, Wesley James, it's over there, which I started with over here, and had a flip through there and started learning something. I thought, right, I'd do that, and then realised it was... Well, the two things happened. I realised it was too hard to learn quickly, even though I kind of know the move that it involves, but also uh, I then got obsessed with learning it and so sat there for about an hour doing that, um, which wasn't really the most productive use of time, but I will try and learn that. It's, he does like a, any, any four of a kind called for travellers, which I do myself but in a different way and it's it's really nice but it's quite it's really knacky but um so i'm going to run through these very quickly and uh first of all again a, a lot of them i haven't read come on a lot of these i haven't read let's, let's be honest but this is what the point of this is maybe it'll make me do it so uh david acker apparently it is acker i always thought it was acer uh random acts of magic uh i love david acker's acer stuff uh, i just can't help. i want to say acer i just want to say it um, I love his stuff, uh, but I haven't got enough of it. And let's be honest, I haven't really learnt much out of that, but I've read through it and it's great. Max Maven Prism, great, uh, but I'm not, I've got to admit, I'm not a mentalist. Saying that, um, The Artful Mentalism of Bob Cassidy here. This is a stunning book. I do a routine from this on stage, which I haven't done for ages, uh, for some reason, uh, Fourth Dimensional Telepathy. It's great. It's, it's like 10 minutes of material or more with three different people. So I'm going to go back to doing that, I decided, this week. Uh, but... Uh, this, I'm not even going to go all the way through this. I'm, I'm going to talk about this. Uh, Ernest Derrick by Forces Unseen. Now, for me, this is a, just a stunning, stunning book. And a lot of people see this as too difficult or impractical. Not at all. Now, just don't get me wrong, some of it is ridiculously difficult. Uh, but I think there are some really practical applications in here. Um, I might even film a little thing in a minute uh, from my materials DVD. Uh, now, when I did my DVD called Materials uh, back, uh, God, ages ago, uh, all, it's, a, it's, a move, it's, a, it's a DVD of like 10, I think, moves that I use practically in my work that are a little bit sort of knacky. I say that, they're quite difficult. But, uh, and a couple of them are off here. And Ernest Derrick, very, very kindly, he's dead now, unfortunately, really sad, but uh, very kindly uh, gave me permission to, to teach a couple of his things. And there's one thing that I do all the time that's, that's again, really... Really fun to learn because of its difficulty and because of what happens to the cards. But I'll show you, show you what it looks like later. Oh, that means I've de see now I've I wasn't going to do this, but now I've uh, committed to uh, doing another bit of filming and cutting that in, haven't I? But um, but there you go. Uh, so j I would don't dismiss it if you're not a knuckle buster. Yeah, if you don't, if you're not a sleight of hand magician, and you don't really want to learn. But don't because I think there's some there there are some really practical applications. Um, Howie Lorraine, Close Up Magic, needless to say, a brilliant book. Ted Leslie's Paramiracles. Now, this has got this thing at the beginning of it. I haven't got this out for ages, but it's got a... Um, oh, I know this is tedious, but I'm gonna, I'm, what's it called? He's, he's got a thing using a breather crimp. Oh, bollocks. I, I don't know. He, he's got basically use a breather crimp and you... Um, you cut to a card using a breather crimp and then you've got an envelope which he tells you how to make which you can just tip up and the card that you've cut to uh, lands out. Now it can be one of three cards which is really important so it's not just you've got a breather crimp and one card and one card you've got three possibilities uh, in that envelope which is brilliant and then the deck can be shuffled so I hope that makes sense but really really worth looking at. Uh, it's a great book Paramiracles. and it's got a really really good uh, essay on the centre tear as well and if you've never done a centre tear I stopped doing it in close up, right? For because it, this sounds ridiculous, and it's, it's it got two strong reactions. I did, and, and a lot of people think the centre toe is silly because why would you tell a bit of paper up? Ignore that; it's nonsense. You can cover that with chat, and you can just do it nonchalantly. It totally flies. Um, but it it's just you know when you go up to a table and you want people to clap and go wow, and people are sort of all confused and a bit sad and a bit upset about it because they they couldn't work it out. It, 
it sort of floored people so much that I, st I didn't take it out completely, but I, I didn't do it opening or closing or anything because I wanted it to be a bit lighter. But don't disregard the center tone. If you're going to do it, uh, Richard Bush has got obviously peak performances, but there's a great essay in the Power Miracles about the center tone. Um, full facts book of cold reading in Rowling. Just a brilliant book. And uh, I think it's, I don't know if it is, I think it's out of print now. Um, and I'm going to stop there because next time, because I'm getting onto my Waltons now, and next time, I'm going to, I want to talk about this, the Walton, because they're just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But it took me a bit of a while to get into them for some reason. I don't know why. But um, they, they, I'm working through them at the moment. They're just, at the moment, they're my favourite books. So uh, I hope that's useful. Uh, I'll show you the little thing, the Ernest Dirick thing now, probably. So this is, it's, well, it's kind of a version of the longitudinal, easy for me to say, longitudinal swivel steel. So you basically get a card peaked and a little bit of misdirection is needed, and then the, the card is pulled out of the, of the pocket. So it's basically a steal straight from the centre of the deck. All right, have a good one. And, oh, quickly, uh, Instagram page, Card Magic Course on Instagram. Uh, have a look at that, because I've just started it, and it's not just about the Card Magic Course, it's just I'm trying to sort of separate my normal Instagram, which is Steve Faulkner, which you're welcome to follow me on, and my Card Magic Course one. I'm just trying to sort of separate the magic and the life stuff and all the leadership stuff that I do. Um, not very successfully, to be honest. Not that I don't do the leadership stuff, stuff successfully. I'm saying I'm not separating them successfully. God, I'm so tired. Uh, it's half term, kids, all that. So, um, yes, and check out the Card Magic Course. I'm going to say it every time. Uh, Cardmagiccourse.com. That'll be lovely. You can get a free download at the moment. A free uh, download of the spread cold tutorial straight from the course. Um, so just go on to cardmagiccourse.com and you'll see a place to put your email address and first name. All right, thanks a lot. Back to normal reviews soon. Uh, have a great one and hope you had a good Halloween yesterday. Cheers.